Hi. <laughs> hey, hi, Cartooning Monday. Hey, how's it going? It's your party artist here, Kim Overholt, and I'm here in my studio, Overholt Art and Entertainment Studio, here to help you have fun and learn about how to do basic cartooning on Cartooning Monday. And like we start with the basics and we work from there. And and I show you guys a couple of things, how you get going and stuff like that. But it's all up to you. And you know, um, hey, if you want to know a little bit more about me, uh, check out my website, kimoverhold.com. And what I always tell people is you got to practice. If you want to get good at something, practice, 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 practice. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I used to have it underlined. Let me go and underline it again. I have the white markers, whiteboard markers. I have whiteboard markers. Yeah, I don't, they're not white, but they're whiteboard markers. There we go. Underline the practice, 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 practice. It makes perfect. Oh, oh let me change colors. I'll go uh, the pink one and I will say practice. Makes perfect. <laughs> so this is a like a high. You know what? I just realized I'm I'm early, but you know what? I usually love coming early. I am one of the weird and rare artists that actually try to get there a little early just to see what kind of chaos is going on before we go out there and jump in and make it a little bit more chaotic, right? <laughs> so this is me. I'm um, yeah. I'm usually early. I was like. Is that the time? Oh my gosh. Okay. Cartooning Monday. And I've been so look forward to Cartooning Monday. And yes, here in Niagara, uh, I, I am sorry. I'm an artist from the Niagara region with signs, designs, logos, TVs, uh, television, uh, uh, movies. <laughs> I'm just here to entertain you and I'm glad you're here. And, and I got 50 of you. This is wonderful. I, I, I've never had so many. <laughs> it's taken me a while to get here. I hope you, you enjoy it. Uh, I do try doing other things. I really do. I didn't quit my day job, that's for sure. Although <laughs> my days. Okay. But anyways, that's besides the point. That's another part of my life that I don't need to have to talk about with you. I just want to talk about doing some cartooning. So I want to get you started. Let me start with purple. If Prince were here. Oh. Did I tell you I met Prince? Yeah, I met Prince once. Yeah, I tell people the story and they're like, okay, Kim, yeah, yeah, we've heard it a million times. But you know what? It's like, what are the odds? Sometimes that you never know. Like, I went to Hollywood and I saw people and uh, I wouldn't have expected, I would never expected to ever get to Hollywood and just being there was like a thrill. So let me turn you over a little bit this way. Okay, good. All right, so good morning. Good morning. Uh, yeah, uh, a few hours. We're going to have a solar eclipse here in the Niagara area. So I'm glad you're here. And I hope you've got, if you live in the area and you have your solar glasses, you know, you're all prepared for the darkness that is about to come. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, did you know that was me? That was me. Yeah. <laughs> I also do voices. Yeah. Okay. So um, I usually start. With the basics. The basics. <laughs> Ta -da! The basics for us are the triangle. And practice doing these all the time. The square. Because sometimes it takes you more than one chance to go around and get it right. And of course, the circle. Like I said, going around and starting again and making sure that everything kind of goes together <laughs> and then there's there's basic shapes but i say that there's one more and it's one of those odd shapes where it could be straight it can be round it can be uh many different it's like plasma it's like one of those things that's just you can count on the elementals plus one little bit of something something i like to call it something Something, something that makes it change from these basics into something more dynamic. So we start off with a square, with a circle, and we add, add a couple lines to it. And you have a cylinder. Oops. 
cylinder shape, which is beauty. You see through it would have the circle there. Or you can take a square and you add some more lines to it and change it into a cube. Or the same with a triangle, you can add to the bottom, say, a little, like a circular shape. And you've now changed that triangle into a cone shape. And those three shapes as well, mix and match, you can create the human form, uh, basically like... Uh, Circle, uh, this would be like a round shape. You can have like circles here, like a triangle there, and uh, like make it all seem kind of rounded and stuff. But I think do things a little bit differently from everybody, so it's not going to be exactly like you imagine. It could be a little bit different, of course. Start with basic shapes. Basic shapes are, you can never go wrong with just the basic shape. Throwing your connections too is very good. <clears throat> Put them all together and you got a little guy. <laughs> and the same with the, when you, how, whatever level you want to get to when you're doing drawing. If you want to start with really simple, you make a nice simple shape like a circle and then you take another circle and you put it on top you can use your eraser and remove the two circles and now you have a shape and then you can add other circles so put a circle there put a circle here and then put a big circle in the middle here and Put one circle here, one circle here, and then make a nice little you can switch this over so you can see what I'm making. It's just a matter of practice. Get rid of that. And you can do here too. Little. There we go. Make a little koala bear. You can put a little, you can do here if you want to. I like them. I like them more like a nice little. That's just so much cuter. No hair. No hair. No big hairs. Or have like two little hairs. That's cute. So stuff like that, you know, that's just making with circles. Circles are usually the best to kind of get get things like movement and things when you're trying to figure out how a body shape goes. I used to make my uh, the body, I would start with the chest first. So the chest kind of looks kind of around like that, but it's got like a little bit of a thing like that. And then we where the neck is, and then you add the head. And then you add like a couple circles over here. And that's where the arms would go. And the arms, I would make like little squashed footballs, I say. <laughs> squashed footballs. And again, you just get an idea. So if you want to follow that, you can make one going down. And that would be like if you wanted to make that into a cone shape right there. And then you have the arms. Legs do the same thing. <laughs> you you learn the more you do it. Obviously, with practice, and I do things just kind of on the quick side. But you know, you can always rewind and see it again, and see it again, and watch it over so many times, and and make sure you get it right. You know. You play with it. 
don't be afraid to play with it. It makes you feel better when you get the, the hang of it, right? Yeah, exactly. When you when you practice enough times, you get good at it. And when you become good at it, it becomes like second nature. And it's so good to have that <clears throat> without even having to think about it. Let me give you some examples. Okay. So yesterday, I was just sitting around, and all of a sudden, I got this idea. It came to me. I'm like, oh, I have to get this down. So I have it on my my Instagram, but you can take a look at what I got here. So like I get ideas like this and I, and sometimes I paint it in and that one I, I painted in and the one that I just did, I decided to paint, it's too cool. I had to color it in. So, <laughs> so on the roller coaster of life, there we go. So there we go. There's life. There's me. <laughs> the great space coaster. Woo! There we go. <laughs> so, yeah, you come up with ideas like that, and you, you just, as you can see, it's very basic. And But you get the the whole thing is getting the idea. You're on a big roller coaster of life, and uh, woo-hoo! Hands and feet are usually supposed to be inside the vehicle at all times, so you don't hit. I'm like, wah! <laughs> yep, that's me. Yeah, it's supposed to be me. I don't know. If you feel the same way I do, it's you. If, it, you. if you feel like this too, this is you. Okay. So yeah, ideas like that. I do that kind of thing. And these, Like I say, I carry around this book sometimes just for ideas. And, and sometimes it comes to me and I'm like, yep, okay, got it. Got it written down. Okay, got it down. What I'm going to do with them is a whole different story. You know, this is the fun part. I mean, I got so much stuff and... Uh, I got no buyers, and that's like you know, can be a bit of a problem when you got no buyers. You know, you got all kinds of things to give you, give to people, and you got nobody buying it. <laughs> no I'm kidding. I don't know. Whatever it is, what it is. Ah, what else? Oh yes, I wanted to show you. Okay, so we talk about this all the time, like uh, always having on hand something so you're ready to draw your your pencil case, and you, like this is how I got that done. So, but I have myself like a nice. Like when I come up with really great ideas, I like to put them in. And this is really good, great for having mixed media because you could put like, uh, you can't, it's only, it's, oh, sorry, it's not only just for doing drawings in. It's it's really good paper, but you it's it's thick enough that you can actually paint inside and make something really cool. Like this is a what I give as an idea of going to a concert. That's what it feels like when I go to a concert. What do you think? Yes, so something like that. It gives me ideas if I want to ever like do another painting. I can do a painting that's kind of like that. Let's see what people think, right? Um, yeah, I bring this one in quite often. So if you've seen previous of this, you, you've seen me pull this out. So yeah, you can draw it and then you can paint it in. I drew it first and then I painted it. Doesn't look nice. Did not really good. Yeah, I'm so proud of myself sometimes. I do stuff and I'm like, wow, did I do that? Yeah. And sometimes I'm like, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. And then did that with ballpoint pen. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Oh, oh, and there's my thing falling out. <laughs> yeah. Designs, ideas, things like that. You know, I've got an idea for. Oh, the trees. I don't know why I did that picture. I don't know why this is in there. But uh, I'll, I'll, I can paint it in if I wanted to, it would, or, or color it in if I want. So, And I've got other things in this book and other other uh, sketchbooks, I should say, um, that I carry. And and uh, I want to also let you know I use Grumbacher watercolors. And I don't know if they make these anymore. This is like a really old but I've had it forever and the paint lasts forever. And that's the thing too. So, but what these have are these little pads here and you see when you're done with them, you can actually like pull them out and get replacements for this. So if I, if I, if they still make them, I could still get a replacement for that. It goes right into that little spot there. Snaps back in place. Da, da, da. I love Grumbacher. Grumbacher is the best and they are they're the best because uh, they're the ones who taught me how to break down paintings into uh, teachable works 
for everybody to do. So, uh, break down pictures, I should say, into teachable art that everybody can do. And it's so awesome. The stuff that I learned, I love passing it on to everybody. And I've got a couple of events coming up, uh, one including um, this little sweetie right here. Like I was showing you, a koala bear would be really cool. Yeah, it's a cute little thing for a party. That's for sure. And that one is for a girl named Ivy. And if you look at the way the tree goes, it actually spells her name. I-V-Y. I-V-Y, you can see in the tree. And the good thing is about the, the tree, the background we're going to do, you can start with, make it whatever background color you want it to be because the, the tree is the, the main thing. And then you make the koala bear. Ta-da! Yes, lots of fun. And easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Okay. That one's coming up this week. And this one. You can't see it right now, but what it is is a unicorn. Yes, there's a unicorn here. And this is what the other party that I'm going to be doing this month is going to be. You can't see it right now, but it's there. I'll show you. I, I, I did this one uh, back at the Penn Center years ago. I might have one um, in my collection somewhere. A uh, unicorn that I did. And I show kids, you know, after you do this, when you do want to do any face painting, you'll know how to paint a unicorn. Just like I do on here, you can do on somebody's face, just smaller. Yeah. So I'll be doing that today. I'll be doing making a remake of that because that's going to be coming up real soon. And uh, I know I'm so stoked. I, I'm so glad that people want to learn from me. And and I'm glad that I at least have 50 people that kind of like watch and go, hm, Kim, whatever. <laughs> okay, Kim, whatever. But I, <clears throat> I appreciate it. I really do. And, you know, I talk about more than just painting and stuff like that. I talk about, you know, uh, things that are going on in, in, in life and, you know, some things that we try to get past. Sometimes a the way that we do stuff is how we we were taught or we learn as we grow, we we progress, right? We try and make this thing called progress. <laughs> and it happens sometimes. And sometimes it's a slow go. And sometimes it's like a slow boat to China. It's so slow that we never think we're ever going to arrive. And I'm at that point sometimes where I'm like, okay, I'm 54. Yeah. I'm waiting. I'm like, it's got to happen soon. It's got to happen soon. Something big is going to happen real soon. And, and, and that's another reason why I come early because if something big happens, I'm here to witness it. Whoa, I'm here and, and you're here. And it's so great that you're here. We're here at this time that is like so immensely important. We are here at the cusp of something really great I'm feeling. I have been feeling this I, ever since I was born. I, I feel like I have a purpose. And my purpose is to show you, of course, how to do art and, and how to grow, how to get past everything with a smile. Yeah. How to live life without regret. Yeah. <laughs> I have no regrets. I don't think there's anything I regret. I uh, offhand not yet. <laughs> Give me time. I'm sure there'll be something I'll be going. Oh God, what did I do that for? <laughs> but you know what? Yeah, I I just like uh, things happen. Thing happens. Things happen for a reason. Things that you know you never expect to happen happen. Oh, I just want to make sure that I don't have any cotton in the corner of my mouth. They probably think that I talk a lot. I don't talk very much, and that's the problem, I think. I think I talk too much. I should do more. I should do more drawing, I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, shut up, Kim, and just do some drawing. Well, let me do this for you. Of course, you've seen this one before, too. I'm a creature of habit. I just, you know, I see it here, and i got to do it. <laughs> okay. Anyway. All right. So besides talking about like doing other kind of painting, other with with cartooning, you can mix media, all kinds of things. Cause not only can you you can use markers like this, you can use uh you can use like paint brushes and paint it on. You can use the pens. You can use ballpoint pens and make it 
beautiful piece of art. You can use paint and create something amazing just with your fingers. It's amazing the things that you can create when you just sit and think about what you want to achieve with it. That's a point, too. You have to have a feeling that things are going to work out in your favor. At least you hope. <sighs> I'm so excited. And I'm so stoked for what's going to happen. I don't know. Right now, it's really cloudy here in the Niagara area. I've got my uh, glasses, and I'm, like, ready for the eclipse. But, you know, I got this feeling like it always does. It, And I told, I told them right from the beginning, I said, you know, it, it always ends up being cloudy during an eclipse. We never get to see anything. And such is a case where it might happen now, too. It, it might be one of those days where an eclipse could happen. It might get dark. And uh, I think they said the last time it happened was 1979, February 1979. 1979. And I think I, I may remember that day. That might have been a really... Um, cloudy day too i think it might have been raining isn't that funny um and i think i was in a really bad mood because <laughs> i remember it being really dark and i don't know whether maybe it, it could have been a dream that i have but as i recall i recall trying to think back to 1979 i know but back then there were some really awesome comic books back then oh that reminds me yes comic books yes 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 yes, yes. Uh, I might have one I can show you. Oh, yes, I do. Okay. So, you guys, back in my day, they had some really awesome comics. Okay. So, this is the... Uh, now I'm excited. Okay. So, 1979. What year is this? This has to be... I think this might be it. I Vampire. The I Vampire series. I loved the I Vampire for the House of Mystery Vampire series. They could make this into a movie. I would be watching it. Honestly. See, see? Look at this. Look at the Eye Vampire. It was such a great... Oh, my God. One of the great ones. And I always loved the macabre car comic books and stuff like that. See, this is the stuff that I want to be drawing. I want to get into doing this kind of stuff. This is amazing comics. This is one of my first comic books. Now, <laughs> I had to rebuy it. <clears throat> but this is actually one of my first comic books uh, called Ghosts. It's a really cool story, this one. It's a, a boy who's, um, he, he got into an accident. His mom died, unfortunately, but he's got friends and they all kind of, they were with him at the time. They all kind of survived, but they knew that he was kind of going. Uh, and so they kind of tried to contact him and uh, brought him back to life. Cool story, anyways. Is that there's a lot of cool stories in these these little in these little packets of, the, and some of the covers. I tell you, they keep you up at night. You'd be looking at them, frightened. I used to kind of like, oh boy, let, let's just hide these until till the morning or something, <laughs> because it's like, I, as a kid, I love being scared and spooked and stuff. So I love this stuff, and I remember this one. I always wanted this one. <clears throat> House of Mystery. It was one of them that I seemed like, oh my gosh, that's wild. Like the guys who used to do the art for this stuff, like oh, I hand it to them. They're freaking amazing. And last but not least, uh, the House of Secrets. Yes, the House of Secrets. Yes. Uh, it's mystery, House of Secrets, Ghost. Ghosts. And of course, Eye Vampire. The, the whole story, I would, like, if you could, guys could remake the story, I'd be watching it. I'd watch it. I know who would, like, I know who I'd want to be the lead in this one, for sure. Yeah. Yes, we both know. We all know who it would be. Yes, you. <laughs> I know you're watching. So, yeah, you. I want you to be the lead in that. Oh, wow. If I had the choice. If I had my choice. Yeah, I can see it. Anyways, yeah. Oh, what a great story. Oh, my gosh. If you ever get the chance to read I, Vampire, read it. It's actually a really kind of interesting one. It's one of those ones where I was like, wow, it kind of got me up at night, if you know what I mean, thinking about stuff. 
that I never thought of before, especially because I was 1979 and like you're, you're a kid and you're thinking, wow, that's actually kind of a little bit of a, there's a little bit of romance in there too. It's a, it's almost like an, I'm a big fan of French literature and I've read, you know, um, uh, a lot of Gaston Leroux. I've read, um, uh, uh, the guy who do, wrote the uh, Man in the Iron Mask, Three Musketeers. Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I can't think of his name. And all these uh, different different uh, people that I like, like all these really, uh, Edgar Allan Poe, the really dark stuff. I love the dark stuff. It kind of made me like think, ooh, spooky. But you know what? There's something to be said about spooky. I love that. And even in cartoons, you can make something spooky. Have you ever tried making a spooky cartoon? Okay, well then let's try. Where's my paper records? Okay, spooky. So, a lot of people are like, uh, uh, when you do flames, you can you can make them kind of like spooky flames. Sometimes there's squirrels in there. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Scary flames, like scary flames are usually something that are really cool. Kids love to draw those. They always find that very fascinating. So there you go, an idea like that. Scary flames. <clears throat> um, what else is scary stuff? Oh, making zombies are scary. Scary zombies. Oh, oh, okay. Kids always want to know how to make a skull. So let's make a skull together. It's always lots of fun. <laughs> so we'll make like a circle. And we'll add a square at the bottom. And then you get rid of the circle in the square and you're left with this kind of shape. Okay. Right. Add a couple circles in here. You can add a circle here, a circle here. And then you can change this to a triangle at the bottom. And then get rid of that part there. There we go. And this is a triangle. And this here is a little bit different. We're going to go kind of like this, down, across, up, and across like that. And that creates the jaw. Now you can play with it a bit, you know, erase the sides. Your jaw like that, with more rounded shape, and you can you can color these in, of course, color them in, and you can remove this right here and make it two triangles like this. So it looks even scarier, and then you put a whole bunch of like lines across like this. That's why I used to do a lot of face painting. I could just do quite something quick like that, and then you just add on to it so let's see if it cracks in the skull. Okay. Uh, um we can make it look a little bit more realistic yeah I make it a little bit rounder get rid of the rough lines and make it all smoothed out. Of course, you can make the teeth. And it just gives you, this makes it scarier, right? And then you can just keep on adding to it. You can, uh, we'll make a snake. All right, because snake's coming through, like, through the head there. Make a snake.
and the head of the snake is actually oval shape, like an egg shape, so you can go in and round shape there, and get rid of all that, and just kind of attach that into there, and then you have to make the coming up the other side, so have it coming through the head so you can see some of it, and coming up the other side, so we're through here, oh, Imagine come through there. Oh, oh, it's not gonna work. Once we go like that, maybe put it back in. If it come back out here, go on that or something. Then we come down like this. Just an idea. Yeah, just an idea. Just to play with it. There we go. And then you can make like a like a triangle shape. Like that, make it with, the, with those tongue, and you can do something like that. Play with it, you know, that's what, uh, what makes it fun. And you can decide for yourself what you want to make it into, add like all the scales you want to. Yeah, the details, you add all the details and make it dark in here. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> you can have a big puzzle or something. Something oozing from the ceiling. Dripping. In a cave somewhere or something. Oh yeah, I remember back in the day when I used to, back in 1979 when I used to walk, read all these comic books. I also used to read all a whole bunch of stuff that had uh, mummies and caves and all these things that you found under the under the earth. Just imagine all the stuff. As a nine year old, you're going through and looking at all the stuff, going, "Wow, this world is crazy." <laughs> <laughs> that was just the start of it. It continued and made its way into comics. And I, myself, decided to follow along in my own way, making my own styles of comics. And uh, still coming up with ideas I'm working on. See? So, what I have to tell you is don't stop doing what you're doing. If you love it, keep going. If it's not hurting anybody, what's it going to matter? Right? And that's the most important thing. Just love what you do and do what you love. And be so brother with a little bit at it, <laughs> as my mama used to say. And, uh, yeah, cartooning Monday. I wish I could give you a little bit more. I wish I had something to drink, actually. I'm <laughs> feeling kind of parched and thirsty. I need something to drink. We will find something to drink, and we may come back later and uh, show you a little bit of progress with maybe some painting and stuff. Hey, we'll see how the day goes. What'd you call me? Sorry. <laughs> That's what my husband says all the time. Anyways, I hope you have a great day, you guys. Peace out for a little bit of it. <laughs> Enjoy your day. And uh, if you want to know anything about the cartoons or the stuff I do, oh, oh. Look, look me up. Look me up because I'm right here. I'm right here. KimOverholt.com. Please. I I do all kinds of things and I'm looking for commissions for doing uh, comics and cartoons and stuff like that. So, And I got great ideas. Great ideas. <laughs> KimOverholt.com. Thank you. Am I done with the advertisement? Oh, I think so. <laughs>